A few weeks ago, I delivered a keynote and was part of a panel discussion at a tech conference in Germany and was later invited to the Lithuanian Embassy in Berlin to speak about prompt engineering and the future of it. I thought to sit down and share with you my experience and perspective on this matter. You see, four months ago, I posted this video, The Secret to Controlling AI, and the one skill you need to learn is prompt engineering. It's like programming, but with words, which already pays insane amount of money between 250 and 335 k a year as clickbaity as it could seem it was watched by half a million people and it was about prompt engineering and was specifically a job posed by Entrophic, which was at that time was offering 335,000 annual salary from prompt engineering position and as positively this video was received i think there was a lot of people in disbelief that a this type of amount of salary is being offered, but also confusion about what does it mean? What is prompt engineering? I was seeing this growing sentiment and I want to show you this Reddit post, which said, prompt engineering is easy as and anybody who tells you otherwise is a clown. So as painful as it is to sit here, talk with you, but then I saw this post, which is by the way, upvoted by 11,000 people. So there is definitely a sentiment or a growing sentiment that I think needs to be addressed. I thought of it, it was kind of true because really, if you know English, if you know how to use computers and you have some specific domain expertise, I would say, you can be pretty good prompt engineer common question is do you need to be software developer or programmer and the answer is no but of course it helps of course having more structural thinking and having knowledge of a software helps but i know people who have no programming experience and they are using chat gpt to make them codes and even to learn programming and python myself included and overall there is this disconnect because what I hear more and more that people say, yes, I tried ChatGPT and I was disappointed with the results. But on another side, in media, we see that GPT-4 surpasses us on all the possible exams, reaches higher IQ and even surpasses us on psychological tests like theory of mind. But there is a thing, no one talks, how this model is achieving all these results. And I want you just to think about something for a second. We have an explosion of large language models, which are driven by Google, by OpenAI, a bunch of AI labs. But do you know that we have more than 200,000 open source large language models on Hugging Face? So now you could ask yourself, who is training all these models? Who is testing all these models? And I think the better question is, how? And for the most time, it has been AI researchers who've been training, developing new techniques, experimenting, or even discovering new ways to talk to AI, which is now known as prompting. But with availability of these tools to the mass audience, mass public, people like myself included figured that I can read research paper, learn these techniques, and apply them in my daily life or my specific use case. A good example is learnprompting.org. This is exactly what we do. We digest research papers and publish them in a way that people can understand and implement things in their life. And the prompt engineering definition that we adapted, it's a way of communicating effectively with AI to achieve your desired result. In this, there is two keywords, effectively and communicating. For everything that I see here and my own experience, I see two routes forward, easy and effective communication. And if you manage people, if you hired freelancers, or if you worked even with a team, I think you would agree with me that easy communication is not the same as effective communication. A lot of times things get lost in a translation. To get somebody to do what you want, you need to be extremely clear in your instructions. So on easy communication, we have tools like Microsoft Copilot, Google Help Me Write, Delete 2. Um, I even placed AutoGPT in this because you give a goal to AI and it does the job for you. 99% will use these tools which are available to them 
and will be fast and will get good enough results. And when we have effective communication, where we have prompt optimization, prompt hacking, custom model development, model fine tuning, token optimization, and so on. And the truth is not everybody needs to be an expert. Those 99% of people will engage with tools made available to them by their organization or what organization can afford or what even government allows. But I just want you for a second imagine a scenario. If you give the same task to 10 people, let's say create a marketing campaign proposal for Coca-Cola, something like that. Nine people will deliver fast results. Everybody is going to be happy about efficiency, but those results will be good, maybe basic or quite generic. But when your competitor hires that one person who knows how to control AI, who knows how to push creativity, knows how to work with different tools, developing custom solutions and techniques. So, but of course, there is a but. These models have limitations. They do hallucinate. And there is also an aspect of regulations which are coming. But I can promise to you, once businesses feel comfortable working with AI or implementing AI in their processes and their teams, every single business is going to be looking for that one person who can create tools and processes and implement AI in their specific business, but also to make it AI regulation compliant. It is important to understand how artificial intelligence works. And to be honest, the best place for that is Brilliant, who is kindly sponsoring this video. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math and science interactively. I already finished 60 lessons and have advanced to a different league because of the points that I collected while learning. This gamification and interactivity really keeps you learning. They have thousands of lessons from foundational math and advanced math to AI, data science, neural networks and more. And the best part, new lessons are added monthly. To try everything what Brilliant has to offer free for full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash go or check the link in the description box below. Use this link to sign up and the first 200 of you will get 20% off the year of Brilliant Premium. And I do recognize, well, now there is Wild West. But just think about it that if you start learning right now, in six months, one year time, you will have such incredible competitive advantage and unique set of expertise that you can offer to the business or even your own company. And of course, this is one person's perspective and I can be completely wrong and maybe we are one technological explosion away and nothing of this is going to be relevant. But I would still advocate that understanding technology behind AI and understanding how to communicate effectively with these tools going forward is going to be relevant and going to be this fundamental skill set, same as how to use Windows or computers or mouse. Um, so when it comes to learning, of course, I would advocate you to check out learnprompting.org. Now we have more than 900,000 people learning actively. It is free and open source. And of course, it's self-directed learning, so it comes with its own challenges. Uh, you have to be motivated in the first place. But I would highly encourage you to join the community, which is 40,000 people Discord channel, where if you have specific questions or challenges, we are going to be there to help you and guide you as much as we can. There's other places with the free available courses online. And I would always advocate to go to the source. So OpenAI and DeepLearning.ai have released I think now five courses tailored for programmers, how to use ChatGPT, LangChain, and all these tools. If you want to learn more about generative AI, Google also released the whole path of learning. So that definitely can give you a kickstart in this space. And for those who like to learn passively, I highly encourage you to listen to Wes and I jazz on a weekly basis about AI and all things prompt engineering. Oh. Elon Musk replied oh, yeah. and they, he, James was like, we had to reply immediately back. This is our, our pal James. We've talked about it for a couple of weeks now. He's, he's a master of control nuts inside of Stable Diffusion. And Plus you can find all the spicy prompts and resources in our newsletter. 
is prompt engineering paying you 375k a year as Anthropic is advertising? Probably no. But I do know people who can't sustain demand coming for AI projects. And I recently spoke with James, the creator of Dancing Greek Statue. Amazing guy. Amazing artist. Everyone wants it now. Is it easy to do? No. Is it fast? Also no. Does it cost a lot of money? Yes. So I hope for anybody who had questions about this, this provides a bit more clarity. I will link Anthropic job post in the description box below so you can read it in the detail and understand what specifically they were looking. And you can watch this video where I originally talked about prompt engineering and linked even more resources where you can start learning.